everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE Elite action figure review on the brand new Top Picks WWE Elite 2021 action figure line that will probably be hitting your Walmarts, your Targets, and filling up all your shelves across the country very, very soon. Of course, we did get these from Ringside Collectibles. Shout out to them for making the review possible. If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but a pretty solid wave here. You know, a bunch of re-releases in this set. I don't think we have to get too, too detailed into it, but we do have some great looking figures here and some stuff that I want to get into here. Of course, in this figure wave this year, we have Kofi Kingston, Roman Reigns, The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and Drew McIntyre. WWE Champion, you got your former WWE Champion, and then you have your Universal Champion, and then your former Universal Champion. And I think these guys will fly off shelves. I think because Kofi is so different, I think he'll fly off. Roman is a very popular man. Obviously, he's one of the leaders of the company, faces of the company, current Blue Universal Champion. The Fiend is very sought after. I think if any kid sees that on the shelf, instant buy. And then the WWE Champion, Drew McIntyre, of course, and his figure is going for absurd amounts of prices. Before this re-release, his Elite went for like $80 a piece, which is absolutely absurd, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at our packaging here because it does differ a little bit because you guys will see on the front of the figure, you do get this new certified authentic sticker like we talked about in our little review. I think it was like last week I showed the reveals of this. Now I hear, here I am reviewing them, man. Crazy, crazy life we live. But certified authentic right there. You of course have Kofi on the side. So each man is on the front of the packaging which is a little bit differently. I'm kind of wondering if, you know, moving forward with elite packaging, if we're going to get the faces on the packaging as well as. Maybe this will prevent people from switching figs and you know, if they see the guy here and they look up and they're like, damn, that's not the guy. Maybe that'll help with that. that that's something that I thought of. But you got their sides of their faces on the front of course you do have the front viewing window with their accessories you got their name at the bottom another photo of each guy on the side of the packaging in their respective gear that they're wearing so that's pretty cool you guys want to see drew mcintyre you can look at it right there he's in his entrance gear and then on the back you have some career highlights as well as a little bio read and i guess as i pull them up if you guys would like to read these you can pause it as soon as i pull it up to the screen there but these look pretty solid i'm actually pretty excited to crack these open we have pretty much four brand new characters outside of Roman Reigns this year. So that's pretty cool to see some guys get into this set. If you missed out on some of these, this is a great opportunity to get them, guys. But let's shut the hell up and crack Kofi, Roman, The Fiend, Andrew McIntyre out of their packaging. I don't know how to do this. Maybe just... So here's our Top Picks 2021 line out of the packaging, guys, and I don't think I'm going to do the reviews like we usually do, though. It'll probably take an eternity to do, you know, so-and-so's accessories, then so-and-so, and then the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. I think we'd probably be here all day since we do have four figures to review here, and a lot of them are re-releases. I think what I'm going to do is just have them step up, do a quick little review, show off what they got, get some comparisons, and then move on more quick-like. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Let's start off with the WWE Champion. So for his accessories out of the packaging, he does have his instant claymore hands. I don't know why I said instant. Like instant oatmeal over here, Brad. You got the instant oatmeal hands, like, you know, slapping the thigh for the claymore kick. You love to see that. Also, out of the packaging, he has to come with his mighty, mighty mic holding hands. So his mic holding hands do look good right here. These look fantastic. You love to see these. These look absolutely great. You they're the best hands out there. Every figure should come with those. Another accessory that we have is the interchangeable head sculpt. Now, we've seen this multiple times in the past. I'm pretty sure we saw it with his... Did we see this with his NXT Elite? No, I don't think we we did. We saw with his Elite 70, and we did, you know, it's just the hair in the face. We've seen this head sculpt on basics and stuff. You guys know he comes out on his interest, then he flicks his hair back, and he has this head sculpt on there after that. So, that is what you get. And then you do have his entrance coat, which we have seen many times in the past. I think we did get this with his with his NXT figure, the Target exclusive NXT figure, and then we did get it with the Elite 70 Drew McIntyre, but it's got some nice sculpt. I love the dry brushing silver up here on the details with that sculpt. It has a very, like, Celtic-like vibe and like metal. So it looks really good. I like the buckles on there. And it's a vest robe, you know, like entrance thing. So you don't have to worry about it hindering articulation. So that's nice to see. But as far as the figure is concerned, it is pretty much the same Drew McIntyre that we have seen. You have all of his different stuff here. Jacked torso, jacked arms, black wrist tape. You have the nice head sculpt here. One thing I do not like about this head sculpt is the neck. Like look at the neck right here. I hate how they give him that fat 
neck. I wish they would cut off right there. Like on regular head sculpts, they usually cut it off right there and then go up to the ear and then down the jaw. And they don't do that on Drew McIntyre's head, so he just looks like he has a fat neck. And I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of that right there. So that is kind of unfortunate. If we get into the trunks, pretty sure these, the, these are the exact same trunks. Like everything about them. We're gonna do a quick comparison, right quick, between this and his last figure. And yes, the exact same. You guys can see there. This is the Elite 70 Drew, and the crosses are the exact same as well. So yes, this is this is a re-release of the Elite 70, except it looks like they went with maybe his NXT head sculpt. Is this his NXT head sculpt? Because it looks like the hair is a little bit different, or unless this is just tucked back. Is this just tucked back? Yeah, I think it is. It just looked a little bit off. Okay, they're the, they're the exact same figure. So standing these figures up next to each other, it looks like the neck may be a little bit shorter. It looks like this one's standing a little bit taller, unless this one just doesn't go on all the way. You guys can see there, they did the neck the same way. Yeah, dude, I think they changed out the neck peg on this one. So the neck peg is shorter on the new figure, so you guys can see the head sits a little bit lower, but everything else is pretty much the exact same. Even the boots, I thought they were shorter. They are not. They are the same. So there is your Drew McIntyre out of the top picks wave. Next up, guys, we do have Bray Wyatt, and for Bray Wyatt, he has the exact same accessories. We saw this with his last figure. It doesn't have all the paint detail you'd like in the head lantern, but I love these eyes right there. I think they're supposed to be like a dark red or brownish color, and then you have the lantern coming through. Uh, kind of a dull paint job on it, but it is a soft rubbery, uh, you know, material to go in his hand easier. He, of course, has his hurt and heel gloves, interchangeable hands for him to do his signature pose there. Diamond Dallas Page style. I'm just kidding, but seriously, you know, he holds up his hands like this or like this. I'm sorry. But getting into the figure, this actually has the running chain. So if you guys remember when we first got the first Bray Wyatt Elite, he had the brown hair, which we will get into with the comparison shot. But this one seems to have the blonde hair, which looks much better. I think it looks much more accurate. So you do get the nice blonde there with like some brown, orangish sort of highlights going over the top, like with some dry brushing. And that looks really, really good. I like the way that came out. Looks a lot better than mine did. We can get a little comparison. I did repaint mine, but here is the first Fiend from Elite Series 77 that I painted the hair a little bit. I like this one more. I like the goldish, you know, brownish color that they got going on right there. And then if you guys wanted to see it compared to the, you know, without it being painted, this is what we got for the Fiend the first time. And yeah, this is much darker, much more brown, and the brown color looks worse. This blonde looks way better, and I didn't have a Fiend for the running change, so that's really nice to see that. But same torso, same arms, same everything like that. The only thing that is different between these figures is the boots down here, but I did that myself. I put like the boot coverings on there, and he has the skinny boots here, but it is, I'm pretty sure these, these reds are kind of coming off a little shade, like this one looks a little shade lighter, not sure if you can see it on camera, but in person, it looks like it's like not very much at all, but it is a hair shade lighter, if you guys were wondering, but there is your comparison between the Elite 77 and the new top picks. Same exact figure, I know these are going to fly off shelves when they get to retail, so any hopes of getting a Fiend figure, I think you're going to have the opportunity, but this guy may be like the new Braun Strowman of the top picks wave, where they just fly off shelves. Everybody wants the top picks Braun Strowman when it gets to retail. But let's move on to the big dog, guys. For the big dog's accessories, you do get a red Universal Championship, which we've seen probably 875 times now, so nothing too crazy with that. You also get your interchangeable ponytail head sculpt. This is a re-release of the Elite 79. Same exact accessories, same exact head sculpts that we saw. Uh, you guys can interchange these head sculpts. I love this ponytail head sculpt. I wish he was more pissed off, especially since we, you know, we have more of a heel like Roman now, and uh, he, he's, you know, he's kicking ass and taking names. Can't wait to see what he looks like on Sunday. Probably do another updated attire video for him. But you do have the gold vest. One thing that's great about these new Romans is the tattoo is updated so it fills up his entire shoulder which makes it look epic. And of course, you do have the removable gauntlets right here. So if you guys didn't know, you could pop off the hands and you can remove the gauntlets which is super ultra awesome technology. We saw this on the Elite 79 because this is a re-release of the Elite 79 down to a T. And it's the same Roman all the way down. You can also take off the other gauntlet and his interchangeable hands include fists and they also include the, the the hang loose hands or the Samoan style hands or whatever you want to call these. I call them hang loose hands but it's what the Usos and Roman Reigns but there is Roman Reigns. Not too much to get into there. If you guys wanted to see a comparison this is the Elite 79 on the right but I did do a fix up with a basic and the only fix up change is the beard right there is longer and thicker. So there is your uh, Roman Reigns comparisons with those guys. There's the new top picks Roman Reigns and I think I'm going to use that new top picks Roman Reigns back there to do the updated Roman when we get it on Sunday. I'll do an updated attire video. Uh, whatever he comes out like, whatever the hell, you know, attire he chooses to do, we will do an update video 
on that. But let's get into the figure I was probably most excited about, guys, and that is Kofi Kingston. He comes with the exact accessories, I think, besides the pancakes that his Elite 78 figure came with, which is a SmackDown Tag Team Championship, which does have, like, the matte color like we saw with the Elite 78. And then he does have his pancake holding hands or his entrance hands or his boom, boom, boom hands, whatever you want to call them. He got the wide open Ty Dillinger 10 hands. And then the figure looks immaculate. This is a repaint of the Elite 78, and I love this, dude. The blonde hair looks great. I don't have a misprint on my eyes, which I did have with my Elite 78, so this looks great. They actually did paint the ponytail bands in his hair, so that looks great. I love the blonde color, the shaved sides, the beard. Everything about this Kofi looks bomb. This is probably one of the best Kofis they've ever made. On the right arm, you do, or the left arm, I should say, you stupid jackass. You got the armband for XW, Xavier Woods. You got some blue sleeves instead of pink. My left arm right here is kind of stiff. It's like there's some glue or something right there, so that's kind of unfortunate, but maybe I can fix that up. So, Xavier Woods has been out for injury for a long time, so he did start wearing that with Big E, and so when they would come down to the ring, they rocked the armbands, and then on his attire, guys, this really cool attire, you got like gold, blue, and white, and on the sides, you will see an image of Xavier Woods with Get Well Soon on the side. You got the rainbows. On the right leg, you got the XW with the black. You got, uh, what is this? You got the up, up, down, down, uh, you know, analogs or directional pad. That's the D-pads coming through right there. On the back of the kick pads and the pants, you do have these nice gold and white colors with blue. Rainbows on the front. Another Xavier Woods logo on both kick pads with Get Well Soon. Same graphic from the tights. And then we have the black shoes with the white outsoles, which looks really, really clean. I think this is a fantastic figure. I really hate, honestly, that it has all the Xavier Woods stuff on it, but it's still really cool. I, I think I want to grab another one of these and get the blonde-headed Kofi to fix up other Kofis, because I think the blonde-headed head sculpt would look really cool on the Elite 78 with this bright pink MDT colors with the pink sleeves and the white shoes with the blonde hair. I think that would look great. And then you have his WrestleMania figure, and I know it wouldn't be accurate, but putting the blonde head sculpt on this figure would do wonders for it as well. First of all, because it has better likeness, and it's just so much better than this head sculpt, but also because uh, I think the blonde would tie in great to the bronzish gold color going on over here. And I just think overall it looked better. I think we need more of this head sculpt with the blonde hair. We also need his rainbow hair. Didn't he rock rainbow hair for a minute? It kind of looked like his hair looked like random like gummy worms or something. It looked kind of crazy. It looked epic. Like I want that in figure form super badly. I think that's Kofi's probably best hairstyle he's ever rocked. But that pretty much does it for your top picks 2021, guys. I mean, I know we flew through it a little bit, but it was mostly re-releases. You have the theme with the new hair, a re-release of Elite 79 Roman, Elite 70 re-release of Drew McIntyre. You have the updated Kofi with the blonde hair, which is super beautiful. If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you saw in today's video or any of the top picks 2021 wave, get in on the Halloween sale going over right now at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% and grab all kinds of stuff over there. I'm thinking about doing a video where I buy some stuff from Ringside. I'll just have to show you guys that. Just a little teaser right there. Not sure if I'm going to do it just yet, but it is on my mind. But that is going to do it for the review, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the Top Picks 2021 line. Which do you think is best? Do you think it's the Top Picks 2017, Top Picks 2018, 2019, 2020, or 2021? I'm pretty sure that's all the waves. 17, we had Finn, AJ, Braun, and Seth. And then we had the same lineup again, right? And then we had what? It was Finn... Not Finn. Who was it? It was Roman. We had Braun. I know we had Ricochet. We had Seth at one point. God, I don't know. Maybe I'm messing it up. Maybe it's just four waves. It's either four or five waves, but I love the Top Picks line. They fill up shelves. I know they shelf for them sometimes, but you can get some great figures for customs and fix-ups, especially when you keep going and there's a bunch at retail, but I'm rambling on. Let's shut the hell up. I'll get out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.